Hey everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Chef's Temp Quad X-Pro Alarm Thermometer. Cue the music. Alright, well thanks a lot for watching and joining us again. This is a review of the Chef's Temp Quad X-Pro Thermometer. Alright, we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing here, but I wanted to show you the box. You've got a nice display window for the product so you can see it. Uh, it's got some features on there. Uh, specs are on this side. You've got the specs here. You've got some other features, another nice picture of it there. And of course all the contact information and social media for it right there. It even has a scan code there for some recipes. So I'm just going to go ahead and unbox this real quick here and we'll show you all the parts. Alright, of course the instruction book and everything you need to know about the product is in here. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. You have got your main unit right there. And then you've got your receiver that you're going to carry around with you or take with you while the, your cook is going. You've got four, you've got four probes. Three of them are actually for the food. They have the tip on it. This is the probe that you just put in for the ambient heat of your uh, whatever you're cooking in, oven, smoker, barbecue, or whatever like that. It does have a nice clamp that you can actually put it through to hold it on like a grill rack like that. So that's good to have. You got some uh, little color codes here that you can put on each probe and we're gonna we're gonna do that later too. Um, and then we got a lanyard that you can hang this from so you can take it with you and hang it on something wherever you're at. Or right, it's got magnets too. So all of this is what's in the package. So let's go ahead and start talking about the unit here. All right, let's go ahead and start with our main unit. You've got, as you see here, you have got a, a dashboard style display. It's got four boxes. You can do three cooks on there and then one box for your ambient display for your uh, pit or your oven or your barbecue. You can view all of the temperatures at once on this, which is really cool. There's no fumbling with buttons or trying to switch between channels. You've got a splash proof uh, shield here. You can wipe it down, leave it out in the snow or the rain next to your pit. It doesn't matter. It's not going to get wet. It's very durable, uh, waterproof. You get grease on it. You can wipe it right off. It's got a long range of 500 feet and one feet above ground. Um, you don't want to really go into a house that's got a basement and sit down in the basement and try to get a reading off this. It might not work or a town home like I've got my office is down in the bottom floor. It might not work there. You got long battery life in here. Very important detail for when you're smoking so you can achieve perfect um, results at the end of that. We all know how long it takes to smoke um, a brisket or whatever. So the battery life will last for that. It does take two batteries, two AA batteries for this and two AA batteries for the receiver. Has a magnetic backing on this so you can just see how that sticks to this table. You've got a little bracket here that you can pull out and it sets really nice. It's got a nice backlight so you can see it in the dark. The batteries are not included. Now the receiver is the same thing. You're going to see the readout on here exactly like it's like on the main unit. Um, all your different temps in there. It's got a switch back here. It's magnetized so you can put it on the wall or you can just you know you can set it like this if you want it to where you're sitting you can just have it like that and it's got a little hook here that's why you've got the lanyard that's right here you can just attach the lanyard to that and you can hang it say you've got an office or you've got a you out in the garage or you're wherever you're at you can different ways you can do that now some of the advantages of this unit is that you can what I'm going to be doing a piece of fish today to show you how this works I'm going to be using channel 1 here and I set the temperature for 145. That'll be my high mark. Um, the low, I'm really not going to worry about that because we're cooking. But when it hits the temperature, I will not go over 145. But when it does get to 145, the alarm will sound and it will beep. Each display has a different set of beeps that it will use. So you can 
you can have a notification of when you're cooking something, you know what's done. This would be great if you're doing a Thanksgiving meal with the turkey and the sweet potatoes and the stuffing and, and all the stuff that's done in a Thanksgiving meal. It's got a low battery alarm on here as well. It has a transmission signal on it as well, so you can know that the signal's being sent to the uh, receiver, or if you're too far out of range, it will beep to let you know you're out of range. And on the back of this, you've got where the batteries go, it's just a small Phillips head screwdriver right there. You've got a Celsius and, and, and Fahrenheit temperature gauge that you can switch between. Um, you've got an on off button right there. You've got your signal strength button there, and you've got a calibration button right there. This is magnetized, like we said, so it sticks. It can stand up like that. Now the back of the transmitter or the back of the receiver is got where the batteries go. There is no screw for that. You just slide this down and it will open up the housing for the batteries. And you just slide that back up. Now on the receiver as well, you've got a volume for everything. You got a backlight button right there. This should just pop right up for your stand like that. And you can just have that sitting there, or you can have the magnet, and it's a pretty good magnet. It'll hold on if you've got, say, a freezer out in your garage or stainless steel table or whatever. That'll hold really nice there. Now, these are the probes. You've got, like I said, four of them, but three of them are for the food, and then one is for your ambient heat, whatever you're using. This is the one. It doesn't have a tip. It's rounded, and you can just put this right through the holder there and you can set that right on a rack and that'll hold right there so you can get a reading and see that your oven or your pit or your barbecue or whatever you're using is uh, calibrated correctly. If it says 350 it should be 350 on your oven or whatever. And these are the probes that we've got for the food. They're pretty big, good size. You got a long cord on here so you can you know set it off to the side. We're going to be using one of these here. Okay now we got these the ring probes they go on the probe. I've got two yellow ones here that I'm going to put on for what we're cooking today for our demonstration. And that goes all the way up to the end. It's got actually got little rings in there where you can actually, it'll fit right in there. And then you just plug it right into your main unit. That's there to go. And then you got your probe. You got the one on the probe. That does the same thing. Put it right down there on there and that's going to go into the piece of fish that we're actually doing today so but you color code these and then you know another helpful tool that you can use so i have got the probe that we're going to use for the fish and i've got our ambient probe that i'm going to put in the oven to demonstrate this so let's go ahead and set up our fish here all right so we've got the fish on the tray raw we're going to take the probe that we've got already hooked up into our um, unit, the main unit, and we're going to stick this into the fattest part of the fish. And then we're going to turn on our unit. It's reading as 26 degrees right now. So I just pulled it out of the freezer about an hour ago. It's 26 degrees. So I have got it set at 145 there. Got to shut off our, our alarm there. And we got to turn on our receiver as well. So I'm going to turn this on. So in case you're not getting on your receiver, it should read the same temperature as what you're getting in the box. Box one, 26 degrees. If that doesn't work, you hold down on the volume key. You see the little receiver thing steeps up. Boom, there you go. It's going right now. You can turn that volume down a little bit. So we'll go ahead and put this in the oven now and we'll watch it. Now I've also got the oven probe over here that I'm gonna plug in. I'm gonna put it on the fourth one, our channel four. I'm gonna set this right into our oven. Then we're gonna put our fish in there. So our oven is hot, it's at 350 degrees, but this is gonna keep climbing. It's at 151 right now because we just put it in there.
but uh, 26 degrees is where our fish is at. That will climb as it continues to cook. So, but when it goes off 140 degrees, the alarm will sound. So we're gonna wait for that. All right, well, I'm down here working and I've got this with me. So I'm gonna get up and show you what we've got going on here. Make sure I get this in focus here so you can see it. The temperature of the fish is at 115 degrees and the oven, which kind of scares me, it's been bouncing back from 314, 315. So maybe my oven isn't calibrated quite, quite right. But the, there is no time stamp on this, which kind of is a concern that I would have too if I was cooking a lot of stuff at once. I'd want to know each little box to have uh, like a time stamp in there too. That would be kind of a nice benefit. So you can keep an eye on how much time it's going. For 120, I will jump back in here again when it hits 140 and then we can watch it get to 145 and see the alarm go off. Oh, there we go. Well, it's not, I somehow have the volume shut off. I think it might have to do with the main one upstairs, but the lights did start blinking on this. So I'm gonna go get our fish out of the oven. All right, let's pull that fish out. And then be careful, of course, when you're taking the probe out. There you go, a piece of perfectly cooked fish. Nice and hot on the inside. Perfectly done. All right, well, I figured out what I did wrong. It was my mistake, not the, not the unit. But on the larger box, the main one, when you set your high and your lows, um, like the 145 that I set for the fish, there's a button right here for on and off. You gotta set your alarm. I did not set the alarm, so I'm glad I was paying attention to it. But it does work. It got to 145, I came up, the fish was done. So, user error right there. All right, well this was the Chef's Temp Quad X Pro alarm thermometer. Very good piece of equipment, very high tech. You've got a lot of features and benefits on this. You got a lot of bells and whistles going for it that are better than some other products that are out there. I do like the four channel dashboard display that has everything on there for you and the matching one here on the smaller unit that you take with you. Um, the probe is nice that you can put in your oven so you can get the ambient heat and keep that calibrated to make sure that you know that the oven or the smoker or the barbecue is hot if you're not tending to it. It's got a lot going on for it. There's only two things that I did not agree with and I think that can be changed. It's not a big deal. But the smaller unit, the receiver that you take with you, the back of this, it's got the hanging clip here and somehow you need to get that off of there in order for it to stand up. And the three or four times that I played with it when I first opened it up, the magnets are on the back of this right here. And it, sometimes it takes the housing cover off with it or the stand goes flying off. So maybe there's a, a bug in there that they can work on, but it's, it's very hard to kind of frustrating or it falls out of the, you know, the, the how it comes off of the housing with the two little pins that stick into the holes. That's the only problem I have with that. Other than that, it's great. The magnets work awesome. I haven't done the lanyard, but the magnets work great because I like sticking things up on things or having it so it's right there. This is a wonderful piece of equipment, the little stand and everything. But the only thing with this and, and the cooking, and as I said earlier, is that all these little channels should have some kind of time stamp in there or to let you know how long whatever channel you've got and whatever food you've got um, sync to that to know how long it's been in there. So you can keep an eye on that too. Time's often important when you come to cooking, especially when you're doing a dry heat like we're doing with smokers and things like that. But that's just my opinion. That doesn't take anything away from this piece of equipment. Um, I'm very happy that the Chef Temp team let me do my review of this. I'd like to thank them for that. And also I wanna thank you for watching this channel and uh, staying through the whole review. Take care of yourselves. Thanks a lot for watching. It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. We will see you again next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.